The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is releasing new, small front overlap crash test ratings for nine midsize SUVs. The front small overlap crash test is more demanding of a vehicle's crash worthiness than the flat barrier test used by the government or the moderate overlap crash test conducted by the Institute since 1995. The Chevrolet Equinox and its twin, the GMC Terrain, were the only midsize SUVs to earn a good rating in the front small overlap crash test. The Toyota Highlander was rated acceptable, but the other six midsize SUVs were rated marginal or poor. General Motors engineers modified the Equinox and Terrain to beef up the front structure, including the driver hinge pillar. During the crash, the driver's space was well maintained. Both the Terrain and the Equinox earned good ratings in all aspects of the small overlap crash test. The structure is key in the small front overlap crash test, and it was the downfall for six midsize SUVs in this group. In the Mazda CX-9, the hinge pillar was pushed backward 17 inches and the door frame was pushed so far inside the occupant compartment that the dummy's head hit it after sliding off the front airbag. The Honda Pilot was the worst performing mid-size SUV in this group. The driver's space was seriously compromised by intruding structure. In fact, the parking brake pedal moved inward 16 inches, and the steering column moved to the right 5 inches, which contributed to the dummy's head sliding right off the driver airbag. The front small overlap crash test is challenging for a lot of new vehicle designs, but automakers realize that safety is a key selling point, so they're all making changes to improve crashworthiness to earn good ratings in this test.